the dramatic race to find a vaccination for the pandemic. Pfizer and BioNTech is enrolling people for phase three of its COVID-19 vaccine trial. And the study has around 44,000 participants worldwide, 800 of them in South Africa. But for more on this, we're joined by Dr. Ba Ndunga Nidlakula, Pfizer's medical doctor for South Africa. Doc, good to have you. A very warm good morning to you. I want to kickstart this conversation with your progress so far. How far are you just in terms of those trials with participants, of course, this as the race continues for a vaccine. Thank you and good morning to your listeners. Um, so in terms of the clinical trials, um, so I'm going to go back. We started around April and uh, Pfizer is doing this in collaboration with BioNTech company. And as I've mentioned, we started around the April this year. It seems like ages ago. Um, and uh, the progress where we are at the moment, so we started phase one, phase two, and with the data that, um, you know, uh, was reassuring um, from the regulatory, we're able to move to phase three clinical trials, right? Mm -hmm. So that's where we are now. And globally, uh, we've enrolled almost over 35,000 patients. And in South Africa, we are one of the clinical, you know, country sites. And we have already started with the enrollment as well in South Africa. And you have mentioned that we're looking at enrolling approximately 800 participants um, from South Africa contributing to the total global uh, participation number. Doc, I also understand that you're expecting uh, the phase three data by at least end of October. That's correct. So should everything go well, we expecting that by end of October, we have the results from the phase three clinical trial that's currently ongoing and that will put us to the next step, you know, um, to submit with the regulatory bodies uh, to get approvals and um, taking it from there, then that will lead us to the availability in the market. And just for clarification purposes, Doc, I mean, there seems to be uh, more and more researchers, approximately 60, if I'm correct, including bioethicists who are urging, you know, partners as well as, you know, your organization to at least wait a bit more for safety data before you can, um, you know, release some of these shots and give them the green light they're saying rather wait until november this is for safety purposes so definitely safety is um, a priority because we're dealing with um, individuals and uh, safety is one of the things that is monitored and and being you know very watched carefully so that we don't um, do harm at the end of the day uh, when we're providing the vaccine so safety is a guiding factor to everything that's ongoing, right, and efficacy as well. So with, after all those pro uh, processes rather have been followed, the end of November, that's when we can uh, expect a final sort of review or feedback with regards to those safety uh, protocols, but also um, as to when in terms of timelines that vaccine then can be rolled out into the country. So in terms of the accuracy, um, we can only estimate, um, Tumelo, and um, you've mentioned November, we have mentioned the end of the clinical trial study results by October. So around that time, you know, um, um, that's, that's the estimated time that we're looking at, um, you're quite correct. But obviously working with the regulatory bodies to ensure that every approval is appropriately, you know, um, um, received um, for the vaccine. All right, well, Doc, that's where we'll leave it. Thank you so much. Dr. Bandunga Anid Lakula, thank you so much for your time this morning.